Now coming to you from our New York City broadcast center, we have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not There's an accident, then it the must be intentional. Hand. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprint shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. Fisher. I'm afraid we might be facing an orchestrated attempt to push the world into a major crisis. Zerkezi might know more about information warfare than anyone on Earth, and the fact that this place is combat-ready, essentially stateless and better equipped than most governments, we need to find out fast whether this is a coincidence or whether someone inside this place is making a major move. That said, State Department has several very significant contracts with this place. This thing is extremely political. I hate to do this to you, but keep it clean. Recon only, no fatalities. This place's offices are on the top three floors of the Hans Center Tower in downtown Manhattan. Recent financials indicate that they have invested heavily in their local infrastructure in order to maintain full operational capacity following even a major terrorist incident. Satellite confirms Grimm's data. This place is up and running at near to full capacity. It looks like they might be holding a meeting with members of New York City Council possibly making a bid for protection or policing services to supplement the National Guard. They're prepared and opportunistic, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect anything different. My money says they're playing fair, but if the boss wants to take a closer look, then that's what we'll do. Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkezi are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep it quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with this place all around the world. The president will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. Oh, yeah. Since the air is getting stale, what the hell do I care what Mark said? I don't even know. Don't tell him you said that. <laughs> Go ahead. Boy, are you in trouble. Whatever. Something going on with the ventilation system? Oh, uh, hey, who are you? Pretend I'm Harry Tuttle. Uh, who? I'm an ill-tempered and heavily armed heating engineer who's asking questions about your ventilation system. Uh, I, I guess... I, I guess it's not working properly since the blackout. So it shouldn't take much to shut down that big fan if I wanted to. I... I don't know. Why would you want to do that? The adventure. The travel. Hey, okay. And don't forget to fill out your 267B stroke six.
You're certainly entitled to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. The last thing I need is another fiscal accountability scandal. Hmm. What? Come on, I want to show you something. Fisher, that executive. He probably has the daily access algorithm for the displaced central servers stored on his laptop. Lambert gave me pretty strict non-lethal parameters. If you stay close, you should be able to hack into his laptop wirelessly. I'll give it a whirl. Electrochromic windows. Could they be your windows to the future? Dynavision's all-new electrochromic window technology. The cutting edge of modern-day materials and energy research. Our windows are energy efficient and cost saving and provide your home or office with a unique and beautiful architectural element. How does this amazing and new technology work? Simple. An electrically reactive sheet of tungsten oxide is sandwiched between two sheets of glass. When an electric current is applied to the tungsten oxide, it is chemically altered, shifting from a transparent to an opaque state, or vice versa. The state of the windows can be controlled using normal wall-mounted switches or using our patented and all-new Transblaze Conductive Dermis. The windows can be toggled locally at the touch of a finger. Since no energy is used to maintain the windows in either state, you're saving 24 hours a day, regardless of whether your windows are on or off. Call Dynavision to have your home or office evaluated for an electrochromic window retrofit. You'll not only receive the huge savings afforded by a reduction in energy consumption, but also cash in on new government incentives for responsible energy usage. Act now, and we'll include our new Transglaze Conductive Dermis technology absolutely free. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's called an electrochromic window. A small electric charge can change the opacity of microscopic crystals embedded in the glass. Cool. I'm thinking that your OCP should be able to toggle the state of the windows. I'm uploading the specification to your OPSAT. Thanks, Will. Let me just get these windows before we go. Oh man, I love that. We have to get some of those at City Hall. Email me and remind me. I'll set you up with a good deal. Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do.
Fresh ground or dried. <laughs> what? The coffee machine. Ground or dried. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Then you better tell me something useful and fast. Uh, uh, you might need the door code out of here. It's 8136. That'll do. Would do you like cream and sugar with that? Uh, I'm afraid of pain. So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you avoid. This place is expensive, Tom. I mean, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys from the Appalachians with M4s in every street corner. I mean, yeah, sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day... Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? <sighs> Don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. Hey, you, Mike. I brought Tom to see you. Hi, Jules. Hi, Tom. Look, I think we're about ready to go with the presentation. I think you can forget the presentation, Mike. Tom's sold. Aren't you, Tom? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I am. All right. You wait here. I'm gonna head into the other room and do up some paperwork. All right. Is New York City thinking about hiring displaced to protect Manhattan? Ah, oh, God! <laughs> yeah! As far as PMCs go, displaced isn't so bad. But you have no idea what you're getting into. 
What do you mean? Remember the Mafia? But yeah, I've heard stories. Well, imagine if instead of a bunch of thick-necked goons with stilettos, the city was indebted to an army of sociopathic snake eaters who were loyal to the highest bidder. That doesn't sound good. It wasn't the barbarians who sacked Rome. It was the legionnaire expatriates who mustered barbarian armies. They're scaring me. Get out while you can. I think I wet my pants. So young? I don't, but it sure helps to look it. Your skin deserves the best, and so do you. Try our new rejuvenating formula. You'll look younger. Main you server younger. room. Where is it? Uh, West wing. Sure. Bottom right. floor. Now. Next to the R&D labs. But, but you'll need the server access algorithm. Way ahead of you, partner. God, please, don't hurt me. Hey, NASA just reported the astronauts on the ISS got their life support back online. So they're gonna make it? Well, probably not. But at least they have time to attempt a rescue. The shuttle? Yeah, NASA is working to repair the rocket assembly. They think they might be able to launch in time. What about the Chinese rescue? I guess we don't need them anymore. Hm. Well, here's hoping nothing else goes wrong. Shouldn't be open. How do I access the main server room? Ah, uh, uh, can't get through here. Our doors are malfunctioning. Is there another way? Maybe through R and D. Might be a way through the ventilation into the server room. Thanks. Oh, God! Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Retinol. Identification. Identification completed.
work, Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend. out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around and displace his laundry basket. Uh... What? Laundry. I totally forgot. This looks like it's been hacked. Someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but. I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to. I see it. I had a bit of a problem with your server. Uh, uh, please 
Don't kill me! The files I want got shunted off to another computer. There should be a backup here. There isn't. They're only on the PC of Mylon Nedich. Mylon? He's the VP of Protection Operations. His office is on the upper floors. Don't you think it's suspicious that he's hiding files? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know anything else. <laughs> police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa! I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices, see if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. All right. Well, if I find out what it is, we'll go together. All right. Tell me something useful and I'll leave. Ah, uh, forget it. I won't tell you anything. Are you crazy? We're on the 60th floor. Uh, what? What do you mean? You know, it's not true that you go unconscious before you hit the ground. You see it coming the whole way. You... you wouldn't. You want to convince me not to? Uh, uh door code to the executive offices is 2346. I won't tell anyone you were here. Sorry to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on the Zerkazy detail. Your name came up. Zerkazy? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Milon. Milon Nedich. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkazy is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. 
You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You report at 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Good grab, Fisher. Mylon Nedich's real name? Jesus. Milos Nowak. Milos Nowak? Who is he? The Barber of Bosnia. Suspected war criminal from the Bosnian conflict. Allegedly scalped some of his prisoners. Wanted in The Hague? Yeah. Bet you dollars to dinars that he doesn't make it to trial. That's okay. I think my money's safer on the Nikkei. Nice suit. Italian? Oh, oh no! Oh, Italian. Yes, the Florentine silk. Andretti? Who's Andretti? Andretti? The famous designer. Men's suits, tuxedos. I'm not a tuxedo kind of guy. But, but you are some kind of spy. Yeah, I'm the real kind. Not the tuxedo kind. I'm the kind of spy who gets blood all over your Andretti unless you give me information. Oh, God! Please, don't ruin my suit. How about a door code? CEO's office, 2609. My wife will kill me if I ruin this suit. Hokkaido, isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah, looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. We'll let State Department handle that mess. You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. 